While many businesses are shut down, it is safe to say one Dayton distillery is busier than they've ever been. Two News reporter Kelly King explains how they're helping in the fight against the coronavirus. Production is underway at the distillery at the Bell of Dayton. Their latest concoction is helping in the coronavirus pandemic. We make Dayton vodka, Dayton gin, we make bourbon, we make rye whiskey. Now add a different type of alcohol to the list and it might be their most anticipated bottle release to date. Never in a million years would I would have thought would I have thought we would be making hand sanitizer. But these are unprecedented times for everyone. A break from the booze, production at Bell of Dayton is not drying up. This is the fastest turnaround time a product has ever seen a bottle here at our distillery. Given the green light by the FDA last week, the LaSalle brothers traded in cocktail recipes for a new formula, hand sanitizer, using the World Health Organization's ingredients. We're making as much as we can to help the community and uh, help people that need to help others. Getting bottles literally in the hands of those on the front lines of the pandemic. 80% alcohol, but pure donation to first responders and essential businesses. I was really excited to come here and help out with the community and everyone. And I want everyone to stay healthy and wash their hands. Colin, Murphy, Mike, and Tim, a craft that's a family affair. I'm capping it and putting the label on. I'm really good. <laughs> I, I'm each one crucial to the assembly, each one doing his part and behind the science proof of their helping spirit in uncertain times. Things change literally by the minute, by the hour, by the day. Um, we're going to do whatever we can to help as long as we possibly can. One bottle, one day at a time. Reporting in Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.